China infrastructure has once again taken action to build the longest cross-sea bridge in the Arctic Circle, which is known as the most beautiful Aurora Bridge in the world. Let's take a closer look in this video. The Chinese infrastructure team made another move and successfully built the world's longest suspension bridge in the Arctic Circle. And because the bridge can see the aurora, the locals call this bridge the Bridge of Aurora. The opening of the bridge once caused a sensation throughout Europe. For Europeans, the Bridge of Light built by China is undoubtedly a miracle. Since then, tourists from all over the world who come to the Arctic Circle can board the bridge built by the Chinese to watch the aurora, which also allows the world to once again see the strength of China's infrastructure. But why did the Chinese infrastructure team travel thousands of miles to the Arctic to build a bridge? What difficulties did you encounter during the construction of the bridge? In the past, for residents of Narvik, Norway, crossing the Ofotfjord was a dream but never achievable. The harsh natural conditions and difficult construction environment have caused engineers from countless countries to look at the bay and sigh. As the country closest to the Arctic Circle, Norway has beautiful natural scenery, but it is currently facing serious traffic problems. In order to facilitate the travel of citizens, the local government decided to build a bridge across the sea. But building bridges in Norway is no easy task. First of all, the construction team needs to face various extreme weather trips such as polar day and polar night, and secondly, it is also a big problem to overcome the environment such as strong wind and frozen soil. According to the Norwegian government's ideas, they plan to build a bridge across the Ofotfjord in Narvik, Norway. The reason is that before this, residents from the two places had to bypass the long and narrow fjord road. Not only is the journey long, but most of the roads are mountainous, and rockfalls and landslides often occur. After all, no one wants to face the challenge of life and death just to go out. But if a cross-sea bridge can be built between the two places, the distance between the two places will be shortened to about 1,000 meters, thus reducing a lot of travel time for residents of the two places. But the problem is that it is not an easy task to build a cross-sea bridge under the harsh local natural conditions and construction environment. Many Western countries even believe that this is an impossible project. However, the Chinese engineering team from thousands of miles away made the dream a reality. In December 2018, the Haro Grande Bridge constructed by China was officially open to traffic. This is a suspension bridge with the largest span in the Arctic Circle, known as the bridge accompanied by the Aurora. But how did the Chinese construction team do it? This has to start with an international bridge conference in 2012. At that time, when Liu Wei, chief engineer of China's Sichuan Road and Bridge Company, was talking to European bridge engineers, he accidentally learned that the Norwegian government was launching a global tender for the purpose of building the Harald Land Bridge. At that time, there were also many disputes within the Chinese company about whether to participate in the bidding. Everyone knows that this is a sea-crossing suspension bridge with a length of 1,145 meters. The construction standards are extremely high, and construction is too difficult in the Arctic with its changeable climate, complex geological conditions, and harsh environment. Coupled with the language barrier, it is even more difficult to find someone to sort out the bidding documents. But Chinese companies will never have a chance if they don't go out. The Chinese engineering team is capable of undertaking this project. After repeated research, information collection, cost accounting, and plan deduction, it was finally decided to participate in the bidding. 
When Chinese representatives appeared at the bidding site, representatives from European and American countries were all surprised. But most of them still think that when the Chinese come to the North Pole to build bridges, they can only join in the fun and watch the aurora. However, Sichuan Road and Bridge Group has just completed the Zihuman Bridge in Zhoushan, Zhujiang, and it fully possesses this capability. You may not know that the Zihuman Bridge in Zhoushan, China, they built was the second largest span suspension bridge in the world at the time. At the same time, Chinese companies went to bid, but they were fully prepared. When the Chinese side came up with the design and planning plan, the competitors who had dismissed it had already guessed the ending. In the end, China Sichuan Road and Bridge Group won the Herald Land Bridge project with an absolute advantage. However, when the construction team began to invest in construction, one round of difficulties appeared. Because the Harold Land Bridge project is located within the Arctic Circle, it snows most of the year. Not to mention the extremely cold weather, the snow alone is enough to delay the progress of the project. Secondly, the low temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius all year round has also brought great inconvenience to the construction team. Especially during the construction process, the temperature once dropped to minus 32 degrees Celsius. But the biggest problem is that Norway's climate varies greatly throughout the year, which means that the concrete used to build the bridge is easily deformed due to temperature differences. This phenomenon occurs on bridges and can easily have disastrous consequences. In order to allow the bridge to be completed within the specified time, the Chinese construction team has made a lot of optimization and improvements to the project. In the end, it not only passed the EU standard, but also could withstand the test of extreme cold. So how did the Chinese construction team do it? First, the Chinese construction team contacted four domestic steel plants. They were required to produce and manufacture 11,000 tons of steel, which eventually arrived at the Norwegian port after a 14,000-kilometer voyage. These steels are the main construction material of the bridge. Secondly, experts have measured that the maximum wind speed in the Arctic Circle can reach 100 kilometers. If traditional bridge construction methods are used, the bridge body is likely to be shaken back and forth by strong winds, thus disintegrating and collapsing. For example, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in the United States was destroyed by strong winds in just four months because of ignoring the wind speed. In order to solve the wind problem, the project team conducted in-depth cooperation with Southwest Jiaotong University of China. After many experiments, the engineer finally adopted a special aerodynamic design and selected a special way to complete the installation of the main cable of the bridge. This method can prevent damage to the bridge body from strong winds. The principle is to add specific angles to both sides of the bridge so that wind can pass through the bridge smoothly, so that the bridge can remain stable in strong winds. After solving these problems, with the arrival of bridge materials, the outline of the bridge finally took shape, and the next step was the installation of the bridge deck. The bridge deck of the Herald Land Bridge is also made in China, and it is installed after long-distance shipping to Norway. In order to cooperate with the work, Norway mobilized the largest crane in the country. This machine has a wingspan of more than 130 meters and a maximum load of 800 tons. Under the operation of Chinese engineers, it is difficult to align and install each section of the bridge. Finally, the bridge was completed and opened to traffic on December 9, 2018. The bridge has a total length of 1,133 meters and a navigation height of 10 meters. 
The main towers at both ends of the bridge are set up on the coastline. As of today, the Harold Land Bridge is still the longest sea crossing bridge in the Arctic Circle. After the completion of the bridge, the relevant departments of Narvik City in Norway specially awarded the Builder's Trophy to the Chinese construction team to thank the Chinese infrastructure personnel for their hard work. The Harold Land Bridge has also been changed by European and American countries, and they are full of praise for China's infrastructure strength. This engineering project, which defeated European and American competitors, overcame difficulties such as severe cold, rapids, strong winds, polar night and geology. It has pioneered such techniques and construction methods as the integrated catwalk with flexible wind-resistant system, the final space cable forming of the main cable horizontal jacking system, and the overall assembly of large steel box girder segments with floating cranes, which can be called a world engineering miracle. China's infrastructure strength has once again been demonstrated to the world. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.